how long have you been practicing trying to learn guitar on your own or what you had lessons or what all my life basically but I've been all your life uh, other teachers and um i didn't learn much of anything last teacher i went for four years i always thought oh maybe uh i'll learn eventually okay now how about the left hand oh that's not good you yeah, have problems with the curl. Um, all right. Well, let's see your position when you put all your fingers on the sixth string. You know the guitar is too low. Okay, the guitar is too low. That's why you're having to. Yeah. Um, that's better. But get your right hand back in position. Get the arm the way we talked about. Okay, on top, on top. Now get the right hand in the position for doing the rest strokes. But relax the shoulder. Yeah. Okay, well, your right hand is not in the position it was before because now your wrist isn't out. Get the wrist out. Let's do this. Put the left hand down again. Get in your position for the exercise we were just doing. The wrist out. No, your wrist is too flat. Wrist is too flat. Okay, you have to move your wrist out. Yeah, okay. But relax the shoulder. See, your shoulders are slanted right now. You're, they're like this. Yeah, even them out. That's it. That's better. Get this right side all nice and relaxed. Still, let me see. Where's your thumb? Okay, put the thumb on the sixth string. Let the arm come down. Do this. Let me see you bounce your thumb on the sixth string. Your shoulder's tense. Relax your shoulder. Yeah. Okay. No, not just the thumb. The whole arm bounce. The whole arm? Yeah, see, see my whole arms. on the, Right, right. Now let me see the thumb. I don't see it. Yeah, keep it out. Put it on the sixth string. Okay. Relax the shoulder. Relax it. That's it. That shoulder, you have to watch it constantly yeah. leave it to itself it's going to tense up okay now keep this as you have it don't change anything on the right hand and now put the left hand on the strings pay attention to your right side as you place your left hand that's it Okay, so it's kind of difficult to get that pinky to curl, huh? Yeah. Uh, what? Okay, let's try this. All right, curl, let me see a curl in the air. No, over over the guitar like this, over the strings. Yeah, with your thumb behind. Put your thumb behind the neck. Now hold your finger. Do this. Put the thumb behind the neck like this, and hold your fingers out like this. Okay. Now let me see that pinky curl. That's it. Now, take that curled pinky. Let me see that curled pinky touch the first string like this. Okay, come around more. You're, you're too much, in other words, yeah, you look, John, you're too much like this. Come around like this. Yeah, the guitar, is, guitar again, it's slipping off your lap. Yeah. Okay, yeah. that's why I don't like that round back. You know what I would recommend? You know what I think you should do? You should get some type of towel, like a bath towel, like a terry cloth, you know, bath towel. Put it under the guitar mm -hmm. because you can't be fighting with it, you know, as you're, as you're trying to practice. And it's a little low. So if, if you put something under it that raised it up a little bit like this, it'd be much better. Yeah. Okay, so let's get the right hand back in place. Uh, more curl on that pinky. Yeah, bring your hand out a little bit. Not 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 like this, but out a little bit. Get the thumb down. Thumb down. Yes. Now curl as much as you can that pinky. Okay. Now put it on the second string and cur curl it. That's good. Mm -hmm. That's a good curl. Now put it on the third string with that curl. Mm-hmm. Move your elbow out a little from your body. 
No, the other, the left elbow. The left elbow, move it just a little bit out. That's it. Okay, put that finger now on the next string, nice and curled. That's it. Relax your shoulders. Okay, put it on the next string. Keep the curl. Bring your hand around as you need to. You'll have to bring your hand around like this, you see? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay, now the next string. Okay, and now the next string and keep the curl. Bring the guitar back into your body. It's starting to slip away again. Yeah, you got to do that towel thing, like I said. Mm -hmm. Okay, now your pinky's on the sixth string. It looks pretty curled. That's good. Now put the third finger down next to it. Now move your elbow out. That's it. Now put the second finger down. Your elbows, no, your elbows coming into your body. It should not be coming into your body. And you're holding the guitar up off your leg now because the guitar is too low. Okay. Do you have towels, anything in your room right there that you can put on your leg? Maybe even that pillow or something? Mm. Yeah. Pillow. Well, see if that works. Well, no, it can't. No, that's not going to work because no, that, 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 you need a towel. You need something that's not going to go across both legs. Do you notice before how you were holding the guitar up? Yeah. Yeah. You can't do that. Yeah. You can't be holding it up and playing it, you know? Mm -hmm. So, you know, that's got to be, that's got to be fixed. Uh, how, what's your foot on? Uh, so it's the uh, footstool for a guitar. Okay, is it at its highest setting? Uh, uh, no. no. Make that make that go higher. So the highest setting. Now, uh, your foot, the, the footstool needs to move outward a little bit. It's too, yeah, move it outward. That's it. That's better. That's good. Because you're, yeah, you want your leg straight up and down, yeah. Okay, that's definitely better. Okay, now get your right hand back in position. And now... Let's try to get back to where we were on the left hand. Can you curl your pinky and put it? Yeah, relax your shoulders as you do it. Okay, curl that pinky. That's good, that's good, that's good. Then get the three behind next to it. Then the two, then the one. Okay, good. On the right hand, put your thumb out, relax your shoulder. Okay, straighten your shoulders out. They're slanted. That's it. That's better. Much better. There it goes. That. Do you have another guitar? Or is that the only guitar you have? I have others. Um, I got an electric one. It's in my other room. Oh, okay. That's the only acoustic? Uh, well, I got something that's supposed to be coming from FedEx. Uh, I was going to pick it up Saturday. Yeah, I would practice on something else because that round back is not a help. Yeah. You know, it's making things too awkward. Okay, but the hands look pretty good now. So let's, okay, where you are right now, let's keep one down, remove the other fingers slowly, but keep them in position. Fix the right hand again. No, fix the right hand, yeah, that's it. Get your thumb on the string and stick the thumb out so I can see it, yeah. Okay, now what I want is I want you to play that first finger note, that first finger note. I want you to play it with the thumb. Okay, but yeah, but don't let your pinky do that, what it just did. Right, control the pinky. Good, all right, now put the pinky down, relax everything, play that note. Okay, get the shoulders more relaxed. Get your, the thumb that played that note, push on the string like this with the thumb. 
Get your fingers like this. Yeah, in the cup position. Yeah. Now, that's it. Now play that note. Okay. Now, so your four is down and your one's down. Now keep your four down. Move the one over. Put your thumb on that string. Now, as you play this one, you're going to release that four. Yeah, go up against the fret. Good, good. Now relax yourself again. Bring the elbow out on the left. Yes, good, good. Now reach, get that pinky further up to the fret. Yeah, 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 yeah. Now check your right side again because you're tensing up on the right side. Get the thumb out. That's it. That's it. Right. Thumb needs to be out. Thumb needs to be out. Yes. You need to fix your right hand thumb again. Okay, that, that pinky on the left hand, get it right up to the fret and get the pressure on the finger so the note comes out. That's it. That's it. Okay, so there's not enough pressure on the finger. And right now, and the finger keeps moving from the fret. So that pinky, you've got to get it up to the fret. Closer. Okay, no. Yeah, yeah. Now try it. There it is but you lost your right hand position. That's why we gotta look back and forth between the hands. Okay, now, now, right. Pinky up to the fret, up to the fret. That's good. Good, good that you fixed the right hand. Good. Okay. Yeah, that's so you're gonna have to keep checking both sides of the body with every note. All right. Uh, let's go back now. Move the one to the next string. And when it goes down, you'll play it and remove the four and position the four over the next note. Mm -hmm. Get that up to the fret. Relax the shoulders, relax the shoulders. Get the heavy arm, get the, get the left arm weight into the finger. That's good finger position on the left hand now. Good, good. You're gonna have to stretch that four up. That's it, stretch it, stretch it, stretch it. Good, good. 
Mm -hmm. Now you're holding the guitar up again a little bit. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. All right. Take a break there. <laughs> that, I'll tell you, I could see in your fingers, though, that they will have a, they're very good fingers for guitar. It's just, what's, how long have you been practicing trying to learn guitar on your own or what? You had lessons or what? All my life, basically. But I've been All your life? I was a left-handed player. I just made the switch this week. Oh, right, right. I see. That's why I think I'm a little awkward right now, but I think, okay, you know. Yeah, well, yeah, right, because we discussed that on that class page about it not really making a difference. My father was my first teacher. He told me how to read music, which was at least a blessing. Yeah, right. To others, uh, other teachers, and um, I didn't learn much of anything. The last teacher I went for four years, and really, uh, I always thought, oh, maybe, uh, I'll learn eventually, you know, but um, so it's how much I'm, uh, you know, I had the desire to learn it. You know, yeah, absolutely. Like, I I uh, definitely admire that. See, the problem, as always, is the beginning of guitar ability is the physical technique. And if that is not put right, and you just go along trying to learn music, you'll never be able to make music out of your music. Yeah, and I, I, I don't know why the guitar teachers of the world don't get this. And I think they all should get your book. What's that? They all should get your book. Yeah, they should get mine. I know a lot yeah. of people say that. <laughs> uh, you know, it's it's so obvious. It's just so obvious. It, it these things that we're correcting now, the way the guitar is being held, the way you're sitting, you know, when you practice and all that, the hand positions themselves. If those things aren't set right, everything's a struggle. So, but I could see the potential in your fingers, okay? And I could see that as we keep doing the corrections, you'll get, you get it. So that's a good, you know, you'll definitely get it. Yeah. It's just gonna, you know, as with everybody, it's, you know, I had a student yesterday say to me, God, I can't believe how much focus it takes <laughs> to learn the guitar. Because for some reason, people think, I don't know, that it's not supposed to, or you're just supposed to, everybody's just supposed to pick it up and play it. Um, but that is the way it is with everybody. But it's enjoyable, especially when you start to see the results, you know. Um, let's try, the, I want to do the same thing, but I want to do it, let's move down to the fifth fret. Now let's carefully play. Now pay attention to your whole body. Get your right hand back in position. Yeah, and then keep your keep your mind on that shoulder. Keep it relaxed. See that? Yeah. Okay. See your years of struggling with the guitar. I'm sure every one of those moments that you were practicing, you had your shoulders tense. Yeah. You know, it's probably so. There's years and years of muscle memory built in here. Um. So, therefore, you have to do what I say in the principles. Mm -hmm. Maintain whole body awareness, rotating attention, constantly going back and forth. It's going to take you a little while to get rid of all this accumulated stuff, but you will get rid of it, and then you won't have to think of it so much. Uh, you know, it'll it'll keep itself in the right, you know, the right condition as time goes on. So. Let's get that right side, good. Now let's get the uh, all aboard position here. Let's curl that pinky. Put the pink, I would put the pinky down. Yeah, yeah, let's put the pinky down first. Now again though, you see here's where the, the guitar being too low comes into play. Yeah. Because yeah, and it's also where that round back makes it, it makes it difficult for you to come around like this and you know, not tense up, partly because you're, the guitar is too low, so you're having it. So this is all connected here. So you want to try to, okay, so start out with it, you know, uh, nice and secure. Now, while you're, while you're paying attention to your shoulders being relaxed, you bring that hand, and you bring that pinky. Yeah. 
and still feel the shoulders. Feel the shoulders as you place, that's right. Okay, and now put that third finger down. That's it, keep that pinky curl. That's good. Okay. And then the one goes down. Okay. Okay. Now we're going to remove the two, three, and four. Put the thumb on the string here. Remove the two, three, and four. And keep your one down. Good. Good. Uh, okay. Now play the, play the one. Now very slowly put that three down. Stay re relax yourself. Keep the one down, but put the four down. No, four? Yeah. Is your one still down? Yeah. Okay. All right, play the four. All right. Good. Okay, now move the one over. Okay, relax the right shoulder again. Good. Okay, now put the four down. Now, look at the four. Yeah, make it go close to the fret and um, feel that arm weight. You know, relax the shoulders and make that heavy arm, make that arm weight come through. Right, get cl even closer. That's it, that's it. Very good. See, now your fingers are in a very, they're looking good here. Okay, looking very good. They look like mine. Okay, that's what we want. The pinky is very good in terms of its, its uh, ability to lean over like this. That's very important. So that little, relax your jaw. You don't need to keep, so. yes. You see, the, you're, you're going to be tensing your shoulders. You're going to be tensing your jaw. Keep all that relaxed. You have to train your body to not do that. Doesn't need to do that. But having the guitar be uncomfortable in your sitting position will tend to make that happen. So that's why we have to make this as comfortable as possible. Because when you're struggling to hold it, you know, your position, your fingers, it's pretty hard to stay relaxed. I forgot I got my father's guitar too. Maybe I'll start using that. Oh yeah. Is it an acoustic? Yeah. Yeah, I think anything be better than this round back. That round back is a killer. I used to have an ovation. You know, after you're a developed player, you can kind of deal with it, but it never felt that comfortable. <laughs> it's like it's always trying to get away. <clears throat> okay, so you were looking good at the four, at the uh, fifth fret there. Let's get back into that position and let's go across the strings here with one and four. Watch that spread out between three and four. We don't really want that. Look, we don't want this. We don't want this big space here like that. You want to keep that, yeah. Try to keep, maybe, well, you're, you, you should have your one down now. Have your one down. What are we on, the fifth string or the fourth? Oh, my. on the fifth? On the fifth, I'm on the fourth string. Okay, fourth string. All right, so the one's down. Now, get the, yeah, touch with the three like I'm doing here. And then, then put your four down. Curl it. Move your elbow out a little bit. Yeah, it's like drop, yeah. Okay, we need that pinky more curled. Mm. Relax, relax your jaw. That's it. But again, the guitars, you're holding the guitar up because it's feeling too low. Yeah. Well, at least you know what you got to focus on. Mm -hmm. You know, these things got to be fixed. Uh, when you get that, as I said, at the very least, get something on your, get a towel, fold a towel, a bath towel, so that <coughs> the towel's about that high, about that thick. You know, fold it over, put it there. It's going to be 
a big, you'll feel a lot better as you're trying to position this hand, okay? Um, now you should also, so you, you have to do what we just did. So we're doing no tempo one, four, and I think maybe you should stay with no tempo for a little bit on this until it gets easier. And let's see what happens when you change the position of things too. And um, when we get to the point where you can very slowly, but without too much struggle, and keep relaxed about it, then we'll put it on the metronome. Now, at the same time, you should be doing the one three and the one two. Are you doing one three? Uh, yes. Okay, let me see the one three. Start on the sixth string. And so one on this, that's right. Now position your right hand. Right now you're using your right hand to hold the guitar in place. You see, yeah. <laughs> that's because it wants to get away from you. <laughs> okay, now that, obviously, I can't see the one because it's not straight on, but it must not be behind the fret with enough force. Yeah. Okay, fix the right hand again. Yeah, of course you just, see you just changed the way you're holding the guitar. Yeah. Not that it's, not that it's terrible, I, but I wanna point out that that's a big difference now because now you, you see, you, you just positioned it totally differently. Mm -hmm. So, and you know, some people play that way. But, uh, and to tell you the truth, <laughs> this might not be a bad idea with that round back. I might be even a bit, but but keep your relaxation and everything in your in your positions. Now the that left elbow, bring that left elbow out a little bit. Yeah, yeah. See, you have to resist it as you're trying to position your fingers here. It's gonna make you do this. You see, it's gonna make you bring this in. Mm -hmm. You got to keep that out. Okay, you got to keep that that elbow out. Yeah, that looks pretty good. Okay, play the one. Okay, good. Now hold that. Now play the three. Good. Make your move relax, everything. Did that, what, the right hand. Don't hold the guitar in place with the right hand. Yeah. <coughs> okay. Uh, 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 wait, wait. Why is that note coming out? Okay. Relax the right hand and bring it down. Feel the pressure. Look, that when the finger's be on the string, feel the finger. Imagine like a little pinpoint of pressure that's right behind the fret, right on that string behind the fret. Feel like your arm is relaxed and the weight of the arm is coming into the finger. Do that. Do what I'm saying. Feel this. Put the finger, put your one like mine, curved at the joint. Now relax the arm. So you feel the arm weight come into the finger. Position your other fingers as they need to be over the string. Now play that note. Relax the shoulders. Let the arm weight come into the finger. Slower. Relax the other side of the body. Guitar is getting away again. Bring your thumb down. <clears throat> you have to bring the thumb, your thumbs up here like this. For this position, you need the thumb down. Yeah. Don't lift up one. Keep one down when you play the three until you're ready to move.
Now take the one, take the three off as you play the one. Yeah. Okay. What fret are we at there? What is that? Seven? Seventh fret? Is that? Yeah, seventh fret. That's a good fret for you to work at. Seven and five. All right. Well, what I want you to show me is a different guitar, a better sitting. Let's get this stuff adjusted. All right. Because it's an uphill battle having to deal with this, okay? And you're going to get a lot more performance out of your fingers and a, and a lot further with these exercises. I want to get these exercises on track so uh, we can uh, begin to fulfill your lifelong ambition of playing the guitar. <laughs> okay. So let's try to get, let's get this stuff fixed. Keep doing what you're doing. Keep let you know, keep letting me see it. And um, we're, we're heading, we're heading towards just getting that smooth movement like this. But we have to remove all this struggle that's going on that that's here for diff various reasons. The guitar itself, how it makes you sit, and then the years of accumulated tension, okay? Mm -hmm. That only this, only your attention to it is going to get rid of it, but it will get rid of it. Every time you correct it, you're lessening its power, you see? Yeah. So like in the course of this lesson, I probably said, relax, you know, your shoulders. I probably said it 50 times. <laughs> you lost count. Right. So you know what? That's what you have to do when you practice. You have mm -hmm. to be constantly saying that to yourself. You have to be constantly aware of it. You have to be watching yourself like I'm watching you. Yeah. And by the way, watch this lesson. Okay. okay. Even just a few minutes a day or whatever, different parts of it, because it'll, be, it'll keep you on track. Okay, very good. Any uh, final questions? No, I think we covered everything. <laughs> <laughs> okay. All right. Well, good luck with fixing that stuff. All right. Thank you. All right, All right John. All right. See ya. Bye-bye.